Yahoo. Well, from a very young age, Calgarian Toby Kai has known that music was her destiny. Now, after fighting back from a devastating injury, Kai has released her most personal and powerful music yet. We'll talk to her shortly, but first, this is Toby Kai. Suddenly I remember you The way you used to smell The way you used to The way you You Who are you? Who are you? Young lady Incredible voice of Toby Kai, and we will talk to Toby coming up a little later in our well, show. Earlier, we yeah. had that stunning performance from Toby Kai. Hard to believe, only six months ago, Toby was in a coma, and Toby Kai is our guest today. Thanks so much for being here. Hi, thank you very much for having me. It really is hard to believe that you nearly died in this accident. Can you tell us what happened and how it affected you? Sure. Um, I was on a snowboard on a ski hill. Um, I fell down, and I was struck by another skier in the temple. 
Uh, luckily, I was wearing my helmet. Mm -hmm. um, I wasn't in a coma for a long time. I lost consciousness briefly, um, and I was not too conscious for the hour ambulance ride to the hospital. Right. Um, so I suffered a subarachnoid hemorrhage, uh, which is a severe brain bleed uh, under, under the subarachnoid space. Um, so for a few months, I wasn't mobile. I was on You couldn't bed walk? Uh, not for a while, no. Right. Uh, did you think at any point you would never sing again? Definitely. Um, I suffered a severe injury to my neck as well uh, during that blow. So for quite a while, it was, it was quite painful um, to sing or speak, really. Really, or do anything. And I imagine for you, the prospect of not singing would be devastating. Devastating, Because yeah. you have described, and I'm quoting you, you've said you think, dream, even feel yes. in music. Yes, yeah. It is really part of who you are. Tell us about that lifelong uh, compulsion to be involved in music. Um, well, it started really early. Both of my parents were musicians, not professional musicians, um, but I was influenced from a very early age when I started playing piano. I was about six or seven, um, and I was quite competitive. And eventually, I discovered that I wanted to sing, and so I started singing opera after my mother. Um, but you know, I couldn't write. I couldn't write an opera. Mm -hmm. So when I started writing, I sort of developed the style of my own, uh, which some people describe as soundtrack music. Right. Right. Um, That's an interesting way to describe it. And that brings me to the song that you just sang, Who Are You? And, and that is incredibly personal for you. Yeah. Tell us what's behind the song, the story behind it. The lyrics of the song are inspired by my grandfather, my late grandfather. Um, he would actually ask me, who are you, young lady? Are you lost? So that's um, He had verbatim. dementia or Alzheimer's? In his late stages, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, he had, uh, unfortunately, he was in Asia, so it wasn't diagnosed as such, but mm -hmm. we now know better. Um, I also have a great aunt that is suffering from Alzheimer's as well. And uh, it's important to me because Alzheimer's is one of the ten top causes of death, and it has no cure. Mm-hmm. So I want and, to bring awareness to And that. certainly with an aging population, more and more people mm -hmm. can relate. Uh, even people in your young age range have grandparents now right. that don't know them. And that, mm -hmm. So is it painful to sing a song like that, or do you find it cathartic in some way? It, um, you know, it was at first, I would think of my grandfather. Um, you know, ironically, it was more painful to sing it after my brain injury because I'd, writ I'd written it before. Mm -hmm. um, and now it's kind of an anthem to myself from previous me to post uh, brain injury me yeah. because I also suffer from memory loss. Yeah, what are the differences now? I mean, you seem terrific. Thank you. Are you affected uh, on a daily basis? I am. Um, chronically, there are some discomforts. Uh, memory, short-term memory, um, any kind of kind of cognitive multitasking type of things um, mm. are difficult for me. Um, Which I find interesting because you have, <laughs> you're, you're not only a classically trained musician and obviously incredibly smart, but you have two degrees <laughs> from the U of C and they have nothing to do with music. Right. <laughs> what are they are, tell They're, us. Uh, I have an undergrad degree in biology as well as economics. Yeah, how does that play into the music industry? Well, it doesn't, but <laughs> it plays into my second song, though. <laughs> right. You are releasing an MP, uh, no, uh, sorry, an EP this summer. How many songs on that album? Um, not this summer. This summer, I'm releasing my second single. I'm hoping to release my EP by the end of the year, which will have at least three or four songs. And that you're writing that I'm writing. Terrific. Well, uh, best of luck to you. I know a lot of the focus during Stampede is on Western uh, music right. and country music, <laughs> but uh, your sound is incredible. Your voice is beautiful Thank and you. you're an inspiration. Thank, Thank you. you so much for coming in. Thank you so much. You can connect with Toby. She's on Twitter prolifically and also on Instagram. And of course you Google your find her music online and watch out for her latest release. It's at Toby Kai on Twitter. Ian.